Hey guys, True Green 7 here, and I cannot express how happy I am that Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire proved to be successful Pokemon titles, and have finally brought honor to my native Hoenn region. I recently bought the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire soundtrack just like I did with X and Y, so I've been listening to Hoenn music non-stop, and I believe that it's time to present my top 15 Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire themes. This is kind of a follow-up video to my top 15 Hoenn music video which I recommend you watch because the entries are totally different. The remade soundtrack is the best in my opinion. Of course, some themes are better than the original, and some themes didn't capture the original power of some of the music. But I can tell that Game Freak really put a lot of effort into this soundtrack, and at the end of it all, it is a form of art that can evoke so many different opinions. I'm just extremely disappointed that I couldn't include all of the music I wanted to feature in this video. Now let's go back to the beautiful Hoenn region. Number 15, Sutopolis City. The remade version of this 8th gym wonderland has really made a great impression on me. I like the original just like everybody else, but not enough to praise it. But now I see how beautiful this theme is. They translated the Game Boy sound really well. The instruments picked were perfect in every way, capturing the mood of Sutopolis even better than the original did. It really sounds like we're inside a Mediterranean inspired city. And after the ancient beast is captured, this tune is even more of a relief once the drought or heavy rain experienced before this theme subsides. The song definitely is an example of how perfect instrument selection can make a theme sound better without changing any of the original tune. Number 14 Mount Pyre Exterior now I wouldn't say that the remade version of this theme is better or worse than the original theme which was already one of the best themes in the game. The point is that the new version takes the theme into a new direction. It's calmer and actually fits the setting even better than the original. The echoes make it sound more ethereal and like I'm actually atop a mountain peak that doubles as a cemetery. The fact that this theme is different than the original is no need to say that Game Freak messed it up because that's a little closed minded. This theme is just a piece of art that the composer cared for and you totally have the right to say which version of the song is your favorite, but it would be ignorant to deem this remix of the theme to be bad. It's truly amazing, just like the original, and you should only be happy that we have two slightly different versions of the song to love. Take off those damn nostalgia goggles or earphones. Headphones, I don't know what you're wearing. Number 13 Route 113 This is one of the most anticipated themes that everybody wanted to hear in the remix. It seems like Game Freak entered my mind and picked the exact instruments I would have picked for this remade version of the classic Ash Route. I'm a big fan of Pokemon remixes, and if there was one theme in this game that I would give an electronic lead to, it would be Route 113. I have no doubt that giving this theme an electronic feel was the right decision. It perfectly complements the guitars which were another great feature. The mood and atmosphere of this route is amplified by a thousand because I would expect this kind of music in a dark and open area. The tune is scary in an awe-inspiring and surreal way. It feels like a song I would hear in my dreams. It's a big shame that those two clicks were inserted for no reason. The clicks just ruined the perfection of this theme, and that may be why I lowered this music to number 13 on my list. I'm still happy about how the music turned out though. Number 12 Verdant Turf Town. The remade version of Verdant Turf in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire has the same exact tune and instruments as the original. It's a prime example of an updated version of an old song using better technology. It only brings the best of the original, which is all of it. This song only sends the message of beauty, health, and nature, I guess. I constantly just haul myself out to Verdant Turf and stand in the town square doing nothing just so I can listen to this music. Whenever I think of Little Root Town, I always by mistake hum Verdant Turf Town's music because subconsciously, I would like to live here instead. I give this theme a 7.8 out of 10. Too much water in my eyes. Cause it's so beautiful. Number 11, Victory Road. They somehow managed to make this already powerful sounding theme even more powerful and that power is what some of the themes were lacking in the remake. It may be how they replaced the leading flutes with more trumpets and added even more trumpets for the powerful bangs. It really sounds like an orchestra is following you as you enter the beautifully newly landscape entrance. The grandeur of Victory Road's entrance and exit is mind-boggling. 
That's why this extremely heroic sounding theme works better than it did in the original. It brings all the best elements of Hoenn like nature's beauty and glorious trumpets and blows them right into your face as you enter your final destination. This theme was a successful remake with only slight variation because the original was already amazing. Number 10 Wild Battle Other than the title theme, the Wild Battle theme was the first music within the games that I actually heard and it sounds perfect. The trumpets are spot on and the prominent drums in the intro and throughout the rest of the song really make this version of the theme upbeat. It seems like a good thing done to the themes within the soundtrack was the addition of more drums than originally were in Ruby and Sapphire. This technique really made the new themes come alive and sound more fun and at some times intimidating. A wild battle doesn't have to sound as good as this one, but Game Freak really went all out. Not only is it a faithful remake of the original battle tune, but it really adds to the original in creative ways and only took out the things that weren't necessary. I used to think that the whole in wild battle theme was the second best, but now there is no contest. This theme was one of the few that Game Freak really had to nail, and they did. Number 9 Deoxys Battle Theme Right from the start, I can say that the intro is way more atmospheric than the original. In fact, that's what the whole song has going for it. The Deoxys theme was one of my favorite Hoenn tunes. It really fits the menacing Deoxys so well. And the version in Oras is basically the same exact song as the original. It's just an updated version of it. Don't get me wrong, that's actually a good thing. They kept everything that made Deoxys' theme so unique, and even managed to make this theme sound more grand. As if we were really in space, which heightens the feeling like we're actually battling Deoxys. In space! This theme is legitimately unnerving. I swear, if I didn't know that I would encounter Deoxys during the Delta episode, I would have had a heart attack when Deoxys came out of the meteor that I destroyed seconds earlier. The only reason this theme is lower on the list than I intended it to be is because there are so many great battle themes in Orath, and I praised this theme to death in the video I made during the summer. Number 8 Battle Shadow Lane Yes, the original Frontier Brain theme from Pokemon Emerald may be one of the best battle themes, and it's definitely one of my all-time favorites. Although I'm bummed out that the Battle Frontier does not make an appearance in Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire, I'm totally content with this theme's inclusion within the game. It's heard when you verse a Battle Chatelaine in the Battle Maison, and I couldn't have been any more happier. While this theme may lack the overall power of the original, there are definitely points within the track that are more powerful than the first iteration. The pace is way faster than the original, and the instruments are kinda different. The Battle Chatelaine theme is pretty much a newer version of the original, while the Frontier Brain theme sounds mysterious and intimidating, this sounds more fun and energized. It feels friendly and more open space, as if in Emerald you were battling the Frontier Brains in a secluded room, and in Oras you're battling the Chatelaines in a more outside battle resort field. There is nothing wrong with liking the original better, but this theme does have a different mood, tone, and ambience, and I fully appreciate it. I for one welcome our new Battle Chatelaine theme. Number 7 Introduction Slash Route 123 Aside from being the most personally nostalgic theme that I can listen to, I must say that this theme is extremely well done. The thought of entering a new region as this plays in the background is heartwarming. It makes me want to start my journey this very second. It's exciting, uplifting, powerful, and inspiring. The fact that the introduction theme can be heard in Route 123 also boggles my mind. To me, it's the theme that represents the music and spirit of Hoenn the most. But singling out this tune without showcasing Route 119's theme would be pretty shameful. Route 119 is played during the climax of your journey, and complements Route 123 perfectly. It is the music playing in the background of the most tropical route in existence. And of course, I can't talk about Route 119 without praising the wonderfully adventurous and majestic theme of Route 120, the rainforest route that can't be beat. These three tracks are the root themes that really dominated my childhood, and just standing in these very roots can make a grown man cry. These three themes are the only examples of nostalgia on this list. I'm personally attached to them, and even if I wasn't, I believe that they would still have appeared in my top 15. Number 8 
Number 6 Soaring Dreams and Soaring Illusions Is it just me or is Game Freak doing a great job with the music for all the new features in Gen 6? AKA Boutique, Super Training, and freaking Soaring! Soaring on your Latios or Latios is like doing something you've been waiting decades to do, which we have. And I believe that Hoenn is the perfect region to be able to soar above. But back to talking about the music. Oh. My. God. It's. Beautiful. No track in any Pokemon game is more majestic than this gem. It's as powerful as Mewtwo, because those drums kick serious butt. Now seriously, if you were actually riding on a psychic dragon over a lush tropical archipelago, how could you not cry with that beautiful music in the background? Like, what more can you ask for? Seriously. How could this music become better than it already is? Uh, maybe we could have a separate version for when soaring at night. Oh wait, th there is one? Really? Now that's what I'm talking about. When the flying feature was announced, I said to myself that there better be a nice soothing version of the song when flying at night. And sure enough, Game Freak read my mind again and put it in the game. You're welcome, I guess. But seriously, these two themes could not have turned out more perfectly. I really cannot express how thankful I am for these themes. Number 5 Hey, surfing! Hoenn has a lot of water, but I didn't need to tell you that. It seems like Game Freak acknowledged the grievances that some Pokemon fans had with Hoenn's abundance of water and did three things to make surfing in Hoenn way more enjoyable than it originally was. Number 1, they lowered the encounter rate so we can enjoy this theme without tentacles butting in. Number 2, they made it so when you ride a Whalemur, Sharpedo, or Kyogre, you can actually see yourself ride on these majestic beasts. And number 3, they made the already killer surfing music even more amazing by adding fantastic drums and escalating layers within the song. The drums really give a sick beat to the journey, but most importantly is how the theme constantly changes its main instruments. There are so many layers to the song, and each second doesn't sound like the last. Instruments keep on adding to the song until the theme finally hits its height where all the elements culminate into a powerful chorus that blows your mind. I wasn't sure which surfing theme was the best until Oras blew us out of the water with this top 5 worthy surf music. Number 4 Battle Maxi or Archie? You know, I never really liked the original theme that much. I thought it was relatively boring and stuck to the same somber mood throughout the duration of the song. But when those trumpets barge in with the power of 10 suns in the new version of the theme, I couldn't believe that they took a song that I did not love as much as the others and made it one of my favorite battle themes of all time. That's what I loved about these games. They took themes that I liked and made them themes that I loved. A lot of the themes in the list are tracks that surprised me. You know, the ones that I didn't know I would love as much as I did. And this theme is the perfect example. There is so much personality within this battle theme. When that organization of trumpets kick in, it's as if every member of Team Magma and Team Aqua is watching me battle with their leader. I love how they gave Maxi and Archie clearer motives and way more dynamic characteristics than in Ruby and Sapphire. It's icing on the delicious cake that is this intense boss theme. Number 3 Battle Lorekeeper Zinnia Zinnia is one of the most interesting characters in the game, and I expected her battle theme to be the talk of the town. But I didn't know her battle theme was going to be as epic as a champion battle theme. I've been asking for violins to be the main instrument in a battle theme since Kalos was announced, and I can die happy knowing that these magnificent and regal instruments were put to great use in Zinnia's battle theme. It sounds like nothing I've ever heard in a Pokemon battle which makes me wonder what's in store for Gen 7. This theme is monumental, and how it fits Zinnia's backstory and personality is so impressive. Cause the way the theme starts to break down as if Sky Pillar was crumbling during our battle, mimics Zinnia's erratic emotional state. Zinnia's crazy, and sometimes people who we think are crazy are actually geniuses. And that's what I think this battle theme is. Genius. But the theme begins to pick up power after the crazy wibbly wobbly arrangement and we get a peek at the main part of the song. That's right, 
The song gets even better when Zinnia's encounter theme is used in a powerful chorus. It becomes really emotional with that solo violin playing. I can understand Zinnia's determination to save the world when this part of the theme starts. She's genuinely trying to help, and the times where we see Zinnia frown with a serious face kind of prove that assumption. This theme could have definitely been my number one spot considering how it could have replaced Diantha's theme without any complaints. So if you want, you could put the top three in any order you please, because they are too good to deserve anything but the top spot. Number 2, Battle Brendan or May. I decided to silence myself during the intro because it's now my absolute favorite intro to any Pokemon battle theme in existence. I can't express how epic this song is, and the first time I heard it, I teared up. This theme is perfect. Lately and especially in Pokemon X and Y, the rival battle themes have become too friendly. The themes make the battle feel a little insignificant. But this theme makes you feel like it's the most important and intense battle of your life. It's friendly, but also intimidating. Maybe because in this game, Brendan and May have a little thing going on. When they battle, it's not like you're battling a random friend, but more like you're giving it your all because you really want to try to impress this rival. Admittedly, this theme fits May like a glove considering how I played as Brendan. May's character development and relationship with the player character is so amusing to watch. May is definitely my favorite in-game character, and the pawn that appears in the intro serves as our sentimental piece of Hoenn. The final battle with May after defeating the champion was the best addition in Ores and this music really can't be praised enough for the amount of memories it holds. I was expecting this theme to be good, but I didn't know that it was going to become the most special song in the game. Now while I think almost every song on the soundtrack deserves to be praised because overall it is my favorite, I have a good bunch of honorable mentions. Some of these were really going to be on the list, but for various reasons did not make it. Any track that you think is amazing probably is, so don't take offense if it wasn't included. Slateport City, The Bicycle Theme, Evergrande, The Ending Credit Theme, and Per Aspera Ad Astra, the song playing right now, were all going to be included in this list, and really made me consider creating a top 20. Little Root, Meteor Falls, The Reggie Battle Theme, and I think The Elite Four Battle Theme all deserve to be mentioned somehow, but I tried to focus on the themes that really changed the original track for the better like how Archie and Maxie's battle theme were personally better than the original. But my main regret is not including May's encounter theme and Wally's theme. I really, really wanted them to be on the list, but then I had an even better idea. Since in the official soundtrack, Wally's battle theme is actually considered an encounter theme, and since I completely enjoyed the hard work that was put into all the encounter themes within ORAS, I decided that I will make a top 10 ORAS encounter themes video in the near future. So expect May's encounter theme and most importantly Wally's battle theme to appear in that upcoming video. And finally, number one is Battle Primal Reversion. This is the sound of ultimate, raw, and primal power. I thought I enjoyed the original Weather Trio battle music because it sounds so scary and simply intimidating, but this theme is more than scary. It's overwhelming, spine-chilling, blood-curdling, nerve-wracking, and epic. It's far from simple and really brings the sense of distress. Creatively, this is the best battle theme Game Freak has ever created. The fact that they included hints of the original weather battle theme is genius, considering how it mimics the way Kyogre and Groudon are going back to their roots and absorbing the primal energy that made them so powerful in ancient times. It's the most masterfully remixed tune I've ever heard. And thank god that this amount of genius was devoted to the theme that I was most excited to hear when Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were announced. Why not take a look at the top 15 Hoenn songs most anticipated for ORAS that I created a few months before Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire's release, and compare the difference between this list and that list. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It would be awesome if you liked me on Facebook and followed me on Twitter as well. I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching.